In this video, we're going to look at divisibility rules. Divisibility means that one number goes into another number, and there is not a remainder. For example, 5 goes into 20 four times with no remainder. 20 is divisible by 5. 5 does not go into 21 without a remainder. It has a remainder of 1. So 21 is not divisible by 5. It's nice when you have big numbers to look at the number before you start and say, oh, I think that number is divisible by something else. And I've grouped my divisibility rules into four types. The first one is 2, 5, and 10. Their rule is all very similar. A number is divisible by 2 if it ends in the 1's digit is a 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8. You might say if it's an even number. The rule for 5 is very similar. If it ends in, the 1's place value is a 0 or 5. And the rule for 10 is, if the 1's place value is 0. So I look at a number like 346, I can say it's divisible by 2 because it ends in a 6. Not by 5 because it does not end in a 0 or 5. If I looked at uh, 255, I'd say not by 2, because that's not a 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8, but it is by 5. And I might look at, let's say, 360, and say it is by 2, because it ends in a 0. It is by 5, because it ends in a 0. And it is by 10, because it ends in a 0. The rule for 3 and 9 is also, are also similar. Here you do a sum of digits. Now, for the first one, for 3, if the sum is 3, 6, 9, a multiple of 3, then the number is divisible by 3. In the next one, if the sum is 9, 18, 27, a multiple of 9, then it's divisible by 9. So, 46. Add the digits. 4 plus 6 is 10. Sum is not 3, 6, 9. Therefore, it is not divisible by 3 or 9. Let's take um, 87. If you add those up, 8 plus 7 equals 15. So 87 is divisible by four, 3, but not by 9. The rule for 4 and 8 is also very similar. The rules are 4 and 8. It has to do with the last two digits for four, the number that is the last two digits, or for eight, the number that is the last three digits. I'm going to erase this here so you can see what we're working on again, get some space for ourselves here. If the number is 5,248, you look just the last two digits. doesn't matter what precedes it. If the number that is here is divisible by 4, then the entire number is. Well, 4 goes into 48 without a remainder. So 4 will go into 5248 without a remainder. The rule for 8 is the number that is the last three digits. So it does not matter what is preceding a number. It's what is the last four digits. So let's take 264,128. The last three digits are 1, 2, and 8. The number 128. Does 8 go into 128 without a remainder? Well, yes, it does. I have to scroll down so you can see this here. Yes, it does. So the number 264128 is divisible by uh, 8. Our last roll, and they're similar to, are for 6 and 12. They have nothing new to learn. They are old rules. A number is divisible by 6 if it is by two, and three. And it is by 12 if it is 
by 3 and 4. So if you look at a number, let's say um, 144, and say, is it divisible by 2? Yes. By 3, 1 plus 4 plus 4 equals 9? Yes. So it is by 6. Let's see if it's by 3 and by 4. 144 by 4, we'll look at the number that's here, is 144 divisible by 4? Yes, and it is by 4. Is the sum of the digits divisible by 4, by 3? We know that already, so it is by 12. So real quick review. 2, 5, 10, it has to do with the ones place digit. 3 and 9 has to do with the sum of digits. 4 and 8 has to do with the number that is the last two or last three digits. And 6 and 12 have to do with other rules. Hope that helps you with divisibility. And as always, have a very happy day.